preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. Verse 11, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Today, I think I've been sent with a simple word, a simple word. And the entire week I've been saying, God, this, this, cannot, this cannot be the word because this is just so simple. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to just allow God to do what he desires. So today I've been sent with a word just to caution us or to inspire us or to inform us that we need to be cautious about who we are traveling with, the people that we have in our atmosphere, the people who is in our environment. I've been sent here on assignment to let you know that God is up to great things and he's doing some mighty things in our lives. But we need to know in this moment, as we are on the brink of entering into new seasons and new eras of our lives, that we need to sift through the people who we who have access to us. We need to sift through the people who have access to our hearts, the people who have access to our minds, and the people who have access to us whenever we are in a position where we are vulnerable, when we are failing, when we are hurting, when we are broken broken i have just been sent on a mission today i don't know i don't know i don't know what you are going through and i don't know what stage of your life you are at but god sent me to ask you a question and the question is who are you walking with mm. who are you walking with who are you walking with? And I need for you to just take a minute as I'm speaking to scroll through your mind and you need to pull up a mental list. You need to pull up a mental list of, of your friends. You need to pull up a mental list of the people who you call mentors, uh, those who are your mentees, those who motivate you, your travel partners, your confidants, your, your work besties, your prior partners, your life partners, your friends. You need to pull Pull up a list because what God is saying to me is that whilst you are being busy and transitioning, you better ensure that you are transitioning with the right people. You know, a lot of people are preaching about the, the transition and leveling up and, and God is taking us to a new level. And even a while ago, Pastor Chin, you just ministered to that young woman and you are telling her that God is sending her into some great things. But God is just saying, listen, whilst you are going there, you need to be careful the people who you are doing it with you need to be careful because because as a, as strong as you are the enemy is still seeking whom he may devour and if he has any chance if we give him the chance he will take it and so as as i went through this week i said god what does this have to do with your word what does this have to do with your scripture because there's so many things i personally you know got from the scripture and there's so many things i thought would have been a great sermon but the lord kept on saying the title is who are you walking with so i just went into the scripture and i said and i'm looking at this and i'm saying that the scripture is telling us that this man was a paralyzed man we don't know who the man is. We don't know when the man got paralyzed. We don't know who paralyzed him. We don't know for how long. But where we meet this man in scripture, what we know about him at the moment is that this man is paralyzed. Mm. And, you know, the Bible is, is, is a book of stories about people's life. And so I find it very 
poetic and true to the nature of our lives that sometimes you, you, you sometimes you can't even talk about the details and, and sometimes you, it, it, it seems it's arguably irrelevant the fact is that you find yourself sometimes into some places and if you were supposed to tell people how you got there you really don't know how to do it or you really you really wouldn't bother telling them all the details the fact is that this man is crippled he is broken he he, he no longer has the ability to use his legs to walk there is something that he was able to do at one point in time but he can no longer do it the man is crippled i don't know who he once was i don't know who his family is but I know he is crippled. And I said, God, what, what, what is so important about this, this crippled man, this, this paralyzed man? And God said, I have to show you this paralyzed man because many of my people are crippled. Many of my soldiers are paralyzed because life have a way of just life in and it doesn't matter how strong you are it doesn't matter how prayed up you are or how you're busy preaching and teaching and prophesying and casting out demons there 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 are moments in your journey where you too will find yourself in a position where you can't even explain how you got here when you got here and sometimes you don't even recognize how long you've been there but god is saying many of my soldiers are paralyzed and so I said, God, what, what is what is important? Yes, I get that the, 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 the paralysis is there. But God said, what is important in this scripture is not even that the fact that this man was paralyzed. What is important is that this man had people, four persons beside him who knew how to walk. And they were not just walking and leaving him, but they carried him. And so that hence the question, who are you walking with because the best of us will have a day when we will need somebody to walk alongside us and, and there are many people on here you've been saved for many years you've been a christian you you've walked the walk you've you've talked the talk but you are in a position right now where you are paralyzed and i just come to ask you who are you walking with because it, it there are times when it doesn't matter that you're paralyzed but it matters who is walking with you because i said god there must have been other sick people into that crowd there must have been other persons who had their ailments maybe there were were even other paralyzed persons there but this man had an advantage because he was walking with people who cared he was he was walking with people who said i'm gonna bring you before jesus this man was yes he was paralyzed but more importantly he had four people who decided that you are not going to die in the position that you are in he had four persons who decided that we're gonna lift you up and carry this burden and we're gonna ensure that you get before god come on now you can be paralyzed but it is important who is walking with you because many of you you are in the situation you are in right now because you didn't have the right people walking with you because when you have the right persons walking with you they'll push through a crowd and say we got to get you somewhere when you have the right persons walking with you they'll find a solution when you have the right persons walking with you they'll get up in the middle of the night and pray you through when you can't pray for yourself when you have the right persons walking with you even when you don't realize that you're losing your way they've picked up on it and they're interceding on your behalf children of god it is very important in this hour and as we transition that we know and we are careful who we are walking with come on now 
His legs oh, could not move. He couldn't move for himself. But he had four persons who used their legs to move him. And they were so determined that they said, we can't even get through the door. We're looking all around and the place is just crowded. Because trust me, whenever God is in the business, whenever God is in the room, there are going to be people there. The place is crowded. The place is crowded. But they said, we're going to find a solution. And these four friends, what they did was, was they walked up the staircase that led to the roof because when you look at medieval buildings there was often a staircase that led up to the roof and how they did their roof was they would have large tiles that they would cover with mud and so what you could do is if you know how the building was built you could actually scrape up the mud and lift up a tile and so these four friends they they, they went up to the roof and they removed a tile from the roof and they they let down their friend right before Jesus. This just goes to show how important this man was to them. Because pastor, sometimes you will walk with some people and when you are in your good days, they will be there. But don't, 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 don't ever have a bad day Come because you won't find them. But you see, the, the, these people loved this man. They had the love of God in their heart and they said, no, we've got to get you to Jesus. These people knew that this man was important. You see, when you are deciding who are the people that you should be walking with, the people that you should be walking with are people who understand your destiny. These need to be people who know oh, where yeah. you are going. They need to know the call on your life. They need to know what you are carrying. And so when you fall and when you are paralyzed and when you get weary they, they, they are able to say no not on my watch will this one die they need to know how important your mantle is that when you are faltering they say i'm gonna put you up in prayer because i cannot allow you to die come on now you need to be walking with people that when you stop walking they know that they're not supposed to leave you by the sideways, but they know that they're supposed to pick you up. Because what God has shown me is that so many of, 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 of the warriors in Christ, they, 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 they've, just been, they've just been beaten down and battered down. And, and it's not that they weren't strong, Pastor, but it's just that when they had a moment of weakness, there was nobody there to back them up. There's so many of us fighting, and it's all almost as if we are fighting alone i'm talking Amen. about the, who you are everybody else is prayer warrior but whenever you need somebody to pray for you there is nobody there i'm talking about the people who everybody can call you and you can understand and you can give an ear but when it comes on to your issue there is nobody Amen. So many of God's warriors are just out there fighting by themselves. They're not covered. They're not carried. And it's Come because now, woman and God. We're, and we're not always Hallelujah. careful about the people who we walk with. If we're honest with ourselves, some of us chose our friends based on our traumas. If we are honest with ourselves, some of us chose our friends because we wanted to be around people who would compromise with us. If we are honest with ourselves, some of us chose friends because we just wanted a link because we saw somebody who we could attach our Selves to somebody who looked like they were in the spotlight, somebody who just 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 looked a certain way. We say, I want to associate myself with them, but God is now telling us that listen, my people, you need to be careful who you are walking with, because who you are walking with when you can walk will determine what happens to you when you cannot walk by yourself. Mm. I said it before that it doesn't matter how you're there preaching and teaching and casting out demons you will find there will be a time when you will feel crippled in your prior life you will feel crippled in your faith you will feel crippled in your hope you will feel crippled in your walk with god sometimes you'll be confused pastor i know sometimes we don't like to talk about these things but if we are honest at some point in your journey you you go to god and you say god no man there's some things i'm not understanding 
sometimes some things happen in your life and some things happen to some people that you love and some situations happen to you in life and you say god how can you be a good god and you allow the things there are times when you are crippled in your hope because you've been praying for so long and you're oh praying god. the prayer over and over and over and over and it seems like god is just not listening and it seems like he just doesn't have your situation on his priority list oh lord there are times when you yourself the best of us is crippled there are oh, times god. there are times there are times when you don't know what to say you preach the sermon You've preached the sermon about how to come through this situation and now you're in it and you yourself don't know how to get through. And it's not that you don't know the words, but your heart is so broken. You've My prophesied God. people about their breakthrough and you're standing in your situation. You're asking God, what about my breakthrough? Mm. There's so many kingdom warriors who are crippled but who is walking with you god said to me who you are walking with will determine if you walk out of this or if you break in this because pastor sometimes you have to have some people that will drive from their home and come to your house come on now I pray with you come on now sometimes you have to have some friends who when you find yourself in some places that you're not supposed to be in they will take bus and come there and say come you don't belong here you have to have some people around you that when you're messing up yourself they are telling you that listen to me this is not the right way come 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 back to god who are you walking with who are you walking with come on now how important is what you carry to them and you know what god said to me the people that you're walking with ask yourself will they would they carry you if you can't walk would they carry you if you can't walk Amen. Praise God. The man sat at the pool of Bethsaida for years and he said to Jesus, the reason why I could not get in this pool is because I have nobody to put me in there when the Amen. angel troubles the water. My God. All by and himself. Because he, he was near, he was right there at the pool, but the man said, I had nobody to help. I hear you, I hear you. I had nobody I to stuff. help. And so many of us, we are crying out, but there's nobody to help because in the kingdom of God, we are not carriers. My God. Wow. We're not carriers. Mm. And so we leave our own stranded. My we are God. not carriers, so we don't lift them up because listen, this was a grown man that means he had weight, so they had to make up their mind that they were gonna carry a burden. Wow, and many people don't want to do that for you. My God. So when you're up and running and you're and you you can pray and you can prophesy and you can give, they're they're all for you, but when you can't do that, they are not there. Yeah. And the people you need around you are those that will carry you. And if you only have four, then it's four you need around you in this season. If you only have two, it's just two. Because it makes no sense that I'm going to be weak and I can't call you and say, brother, pray me up in strength. It makes no sense I can't call you and say, sister, pray me up. It makes no sense you can't go to New City with me. It makes no sense that when I don't have a word, you can't give me one. It makes no sense that when I lose sight of God, that I don't have anybody around me to prophesy life. Come on, me. come on. It makes no sense. Oh, Lord. It makes no sense. If God had to pull Ezekiel into that valley of dry bones and he said, speak life to them. They were lying there. The bones were there. 
thirsty and dry but it took somebody to say life in the name of jesus for them to be activated and so many people around us there are people in our churches we have family members around us you see that there's something there you see a taxi drivers every time you go in the taxi you see that there is the god the, the lord's hand is upon this young man's life mm -hmm. But have we been carrying anybody that's the reverse that is the reverse that is the reverse because i know i touched many persons when i said you don't have nobody for carry you but we need to switch it to and say who are we You're carrying okay. come on have we been good carriers because if that was your friend that was crippled did you pick them up would you pick them up wow i know you would pray for your child but what if it was my child? Would you pray for mine? I know you would pray for your husband, but would you pray for mine? My I know God. you would pray for your healing, but would you pray for mine? Come on now. I know this, and I know you would pray for your business if it was going down, but would you do it for mine? Come on now. Because many of us are not carriers. And if we are honest, it's been a long time since we've carried anybody or anything. Our entire prior life is about us. Just my job, my life, my emotions, my finances, my people, my health. If we are honest, many of us have not carried anybody. My God. In a long time. So we're just out here each man by himself when our bible tells us that we should be united we're just out yes, here fighting God. the enemy one one when the bible mm. tells us that one shall chase a thousand but and two, two shall chase a ten thousand and we're just out here fighting oh, wow. by ourselves and to go a step further we're fighting against each other because i'm looking out on the internet pastor chin and i'm seeing ministers knocking out against other ministers instead of praying for them i'm seeing us as the body of christ pulling down our brother or sister when they fail or falter instead of going live and praying for them we are doing that holy spirit we are the ones Holy Spirit. They're having the group chats to My discuss God. somebody's life instead of calling a prayer meeting and say, let us pray for this person. My God. You see, what we need to understand is the enemy is counting on us to not be our brother's keeper. He's counting on us to not be in unity. He's counting on us. My God. Jesus. He's counting on us. Jeez. So that he can use us and weaponize us against each other. Oh, Lord. He's counting on it. He's counting on the conflict and the confusion. He's counting on it. My God. Who are we carrying? Who have, who have we carried? Who Amen have we to carried? that, sister. Amen to who that. Have Amen. Who have we carried? Who have we carried? I think about Esther in this moment. And yes, she was a great queen and she did mighty things. And I think about her walking into the, 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 the king, walking before the king. And yes, she said, if I perish, I perish. But she did not do that on her own. She was carried she had Mordecai behind her saying, listen to me, little girl, don't stay up there and feel like you're too cute because if you are, God will move you. And Come on now. <laughs> she was carried. She didn't pray by herself. Her maidens prayed. The entire children of God prayed. They were all in fasting and prayer. So when Esther stepped before the king, she didn't go there by herself. She stepped into an atmosphere that was made clear because of prayer. They didn't enter the room with her, but they, they, they went before her in prayer. And they covered oh, her. Goodness. They carried her. So though they only saw one woman, it was the entire body of Christ going there with her. So he had no other option but to give her a favor because she was walking with power. 
and she was walking with the unity of the people behind her we need to understand that we need to be unified and we need to carry each other amen we need to carry each other My God. we need to carry each other in Acts chapter 12 it tells us that peter was kept in prison but the church was earnestly praying to god for him the church he was in prison but the church was earnestly praying to god for him holy spirit how many people are bound in our communities and we we are the ones that are not covering them oh my we're not covering them oh my. So the church prayed earnestly to god for him and when the church prayed the angel of god showed up where Ooh. peter was and broke the chains and took him out led him out of the prison do you know how many people are not being led out of their bondage because we have not carried them in prayer my god help us help us hallelujah do you know how many souls we have lost because we have stopped carrying people in prayer mm. my we're, now god. Using our, we're now using our physical eyes instead of our spiritual eyes and so we're writing off people and it's, and it's only certain people we want to pray for so you will pray for evangelist watson because oh i'm saved oh lord what a message people are just out here uncovered with nobody carrying them i notice it one person can't do it by themselves it took four of them to carry this man so it cannot just be pastor chin it cannot just be minister it cannot just be evangelist it cannot just be missionary it takes all of us we have to come together as a body of christ and carry each other oh lord oh lord when i say paralysis you might just think of the physical foot but life is real so i like to use i like to use real examples jesus will you still pray for the person when your favorite preacher when you find out that they have a porn addiction will you still pray for them uh. when you find out that your favorite praise and worship leader is struggling with their sexuality come on now will you come together and pray her through or pray him through when you find out that the person Amen. who was your mentor Amen. have a lying lip, will you still pray for them? Amen. Or are you going to be used by the enemy to crush them? Because let me tell you, those are the things that we need carrying in in the body of Christ. Not our strong Amen. areas. <laughs> Not our strong areas. No, Amen. our weak areas. The things that the enemy uses against us daily. My God. Did you know that the just man fall? That's Bible. The just man fall. That is Bible. Mm. But would you carry that person in prayer? Or, or, or do you just want to pray for them when they're preaching on the pulpit? Do you just want to pray when you get called to pray on the mic because people are seeing you? Or will you really carry people when they are paralyzed? My God my god we need to be carried people need to be carried and it takes unity the word is who are you walking with who are you walking with who are you walking with and it is two-sided who can carry you when you are paralyzed but who is beside you that you need to be watchful for to see when the enemy is paralyzing them so you can carry them too until they are back on their feet 
Come on now. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. It's not only one time you're going to have to pray. And it's not two times. And it's come not three now. times. There are some people you're going to have to intercede for them for years before you see the change. But will you carry them? Come on now. Holy and Spirit. sometimes those people are the same people. They don't even know that God is using you to intercede for them. Those are the same people sometimes who will hurt you. But will you still carry them in prayer? Amen. Will you still carry them? You have Holy a burden Spirit. for young people. And you love young people. But will you still love them and pray for them when they are going the wrong way? Amen. When they're not doing and saying the things that you want them to do, when they're not dressing how you want them to dress, when they are going the places where you don't want them for God, will you still cover them? My God. We know God. how to bring them in. We've figured out how to preach them in. Mm. But when they falter and they fail, mm. We've not mastered how to cover them. Amen. Amen. And I'm not preaching against you. I am telling you something that the Lord had to speak to me about. Because sometimes you preach, feel like you're preaching on them. And it's a picture they don't know how, how Holy Ghost backs you down sometimes. To ensure that you are in the right before you can come and, cut and talk Amen. to anybody else. Amen. I'm not preaching against you. No. You're preaching, sister. I'm preaching you. something that the Lord Amen. dealt Amen. with me about. I got to a point in my life where Holy Spirit had to shut me up in so many situations because his mouth of mine was out of control. And the Lord had to teach me how to use this mouth. Because the same mouth that preach cannot be the same mouth that condemn. Come on now. Gossip cannot be the same mouth. Oh, the same God. mouth cannot be used to kill plus bring life. You must choose. My God. My God. I'm telling you, I'm preaching something to you that the Lord dealt with me with. Yes, I'm in my feelings. Oh, who never show up for me and who never pray for me? And the Lord had asked me, did you show up for the Wonderful. person when they were in their situation? Wonderful, amen. Because it's <laughs> me like the Bible only works one way. The Lord comes to correct us as well and tell us when we are wrong. Amen. Who have we failed to carry? Every single one of us have somebody that we never carry. We can't think of a million people who never carry us. But trust me, I have somebody you never carry. And some of you, the Lord has been showing you people who you need to carry in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And you say, you're not doing it. <laughs> oh, Lord. You're not doing it. I've told that to God before. I'm not, I'm not praying for you. I'm not Jesus, praying for you. Jesus. Make our mother pray for you. Make our father pray for you. I'm not praying for that person. God, I've been showing you people you need to carry in the spirit. And you need to take up the mantle. Because if you and I don't take up the mantle, one of us is going to remain in our situation when we could have been carried in prayer. Mm. When we could have been built up in the holy faith. When we could have had our brothers and sisters to motivate us and let us know that we are not in this alone. My God. Who you are walking with can determine if you walk out of this thing or if you die in it. My God. What a word. And I'm on a mission tonight so Jesus. that nobody else on this platform has to die in their situation by themselves because there will be men and women of god mm -hmm. here that says god i repent for the many times i let my brother and sister die in their situation by themselves but this time i'm going to carry them my and god. i'm going to figure out a way when you're asked when, when, when you are accepting the mission my Please God. ask the Lord to teach you how to love people. 
Because if you don't love people, you can't pray for them. Jesus. If you don't love people, when you hear the stories about them, you will not be able to say, listen, I hear what you're saying, but I will not indulge in this conversation. Hi. If you don't love people, when they hurt you, you will hate them and don't Jesus, forgive them. Jesus. And so you have to ask the Lord now to teach you how to love. To love people to the point mm. where you say, God, I'm not going to let this one go until I bring him or her before your throne. Holy Spirit. No, left till them reach right to your foot. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let me take five years, three months, even minutes after going special fasting for this one. I have to do it. My God. People are out here. Jesus. Dying. Jesus. Because we're not carrying each other. And so my encouragement to you today my encouragement to you today is not to to go home and feel bad and get into depression about where you have heard whether is you chose the wrong people to be in your corner and so you were misled or you weren't carried or you were sent on assignment to carry somebody else and you didn't do it i'm not sending you to go into depression as i said to you i come with a simple message and i come to just bring it to caution you I come to just explain something to you because sometimes Jesus. the Lord is showing you something, but it's just not clear to you. Jesus. And so you will send a word that adds clarity. He will send a word that adds clarity. Oh God. It's important because many of you are alive today because somebody prayed for you. Somebody carried you in prayer. I know I am I'm a benefactor of being carried in prayer. Mm. Because I know when I was rebellious, I know the old version of Bessana. And I know she was not an easy person to deal. She still is an easy person to deal with. God is still working on her. So I know yes. that I'm a benefactor of many, many persons carrying me in prayer. God oh, bless my pastor, Pastor Ferron. Because let me tell you, that woman have a heart of gold. My God. Because she carried me to my rebellious stage. Loved on me. And that is the reason why I can say these things. I am a benefactor of it. Sometimes we go some places and we know me nothing go. And me no say I must want grandmother prayer. prayer. His three arms be a Raphael arms be prayer one prayer. Because there is nowhere else on earth I escape this. Mm. I'm a benefactor of prayer. I'm a benefactor of being carried. Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Jeez. And so when you see those who are strong, and you see those who are weak, just know that the strong ones are covered in prayer. Amen. So if them weak, Amen. get on the mission and cover them, carry them, walk with them. I'm not a long distance draw out speaker. I deliver the message and I go. Amen. That is the message I got for you guys today. And Wonderful. so I just pray, Amen. I just pray Wonderful. that as you go into your homes, you go back into your lives and the rest of the weekend, that the Lord will, 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 will highlight the part that is for you. Jesus. Jesus. I pray that you will not die in your situation Jesus. by yourself. Jesus. I pray that the Lord will, will open some prayer warrior's eyes to see you and to pray you out. Jesus. For those of you who are strong at the moment, yes. I pray that the Lord will put some people on your list to carry. Jesus. I bless you. Oh my God. I pray that you will just go forth and do what the Lord will have you to do in Jesus' name. Over wow. to you, Sachin. The Lord bless you all. Amen. 
evangelist the son. I thought you said you didn't Amen. have all It was a simple word, but it was such a powerful word. I don't know, but um, you dragged me back to the place when I just get saved back in Alice. And I remember uh, it was Sister Delissa at the time, Karen Delissa. She have six, I think it was about six weeks to about um, three months, somewhere there. Every Monday we used to meet. And I tell you, uh, that young lady carried us through that time of our uncertainty, don't know what Christianity is about, don't know how to fit in. And it was like the, 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 the beacon of strength. So I understand this message tonight that sometimes we just need somebody to be in our corner. Amen. And, and, and you, you, you really bring, it, bring us some point as well that I really have to look on. Do we still pray for the people that we admire when they fail? And when they fall, do we still pray for them? Glory to God, and we just swing with them when things are going well. My God, what a question tonight. Who am I carrying? Who are you carrying? Amen. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Evangelist, listen, I know that you do some writing. I know you do some publishing as well. Could you just put some link um, in the, the chat back so we can know where to find your resources? I know that you're a woman um, that think deep and have um, performed resources that can help the Christian community. Amen. So if you could just give us some links so we can um, get access uh, to what the Spirit of God is downloading and you're writing. Glory to God, so you can help carry us as well with insight. Uh, I see um, our Pastor Kelly over there on the, the Clubhouse, woman of God, bless you. I know that you're a carrier, a great carrier, a man of the school of the prophet. Praise be to God. I know Dr. Rose is on. I know she can't be on that long. But God bless her for coming on tomorrow. Please remember prayer bell starting at 4 a.m. Jamaican time. Glory to God. We want to cover the woman of God. I don't know if Overseer Nelson is still on. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, um, yes, um, you just pray up the, 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 the speaker for us as well. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. Father, we just honor you tonight with our praise, with our hearts, with everything that we have. It screams out thank you for the word that you have imparted into our beings today. We recognize that in this day and age that we're living in, God, you are really fitting out the body of Christ you are reminding us, you are rejuvenating us. God, you are giving us energy, motivating us back to our former ways in worshiping you and how we are to be a body as we have been called to be. We thank you for your daughter who you have used tonight in such a wonderful way. God, I like the fact that when she spoke, she spoke as a person who's humble and meek but yet when she got into the floor and allowed you to take over god she spoke with such an authority so direct with such power hitting the points that needed to be hit so that we can understand where we are falling down instead of rising up i thank you god that you have used such an example from your word to let us know that praising is not everything reading the word is not everything like i was speaking tonight and i said that we can walk in the statutes we can keep the commandments but the thing that we fail to do is to do them 
And here we have been again reminded that it's not just about looking after people when they are in a good state, but it is recognized that when they're in a bad state, it's the time to be interested in them. It is the time really to invest in them and to bring them back up. God, I pray that your strength will continue to flourish in this sister. I pray, Holy God, that you will continue to open up her mind to you and to your word. I pray that she will never be weary in well-doing. God, but she will continue to do the work of him that has sent her while it is day and for us the listeners god as we listened intently to what was being said i pray that we'll be honest enough in ourselves to pull out them parts that are part of us that is indicative of us and our behaviors god and that we will do something about changing it because god preaching isn't everything praising isn't everything it's when we show the mind and the attitude of the good Samaritan who didn't have to because that person was even, even of his, his country or his ethnicity. But he did it because of the purity of his heart and love. God, I pray that you'll instill that within us and let us be purified by your word, justified, sanctified, God, so that we can stand and know that whatever happens, God, we don't even look to be supportive, but we will be willing to give support to those who are in need. Thank you again for speaking to us in such a clear way, God. And I pray more blessings upon your child in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Um, Pastor, uh, Pastor um, Chance, I don't feel busy. I don't really want to trouble you in your night of your anniversary. But since you want, woman of God, I don't know if you're available to pray um, for evangelist, um, the son of what's the mother. It just came into my spirit. I don't know if you're available. If not, I'm just going to ask Dr. Rose if she could. I don't know how long she's going to be on. Uh, I'm praying. Amen. Glory to God. Father, you are great. You are wonderful. You are mighty. Oh, God Almighty, you, oh Lord Jesus, are just altogether lovely and you're amazing. And Father, we come to you this evening, oh God Almighty, knowing that you have all power, you have all dominion, you have all authority. Authority, mighty God, knowing that there is nothing that is too hard for you, knowing that there is nothing that can confuse you, there is nothing that will cause you to scratch your head. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put, oh God Almighty, um, the Son of Mom before you, mighty God. And I ask you in Jesus' name that Father, you will touch her body right now, you will touch her bloodstream, mighty God, you will touch her joints in the name of Jesus Christ, you will touch her organ in in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, oh God Almighty, against, oh God, every battle, oh God, that the enemy is raging, even in her mind. Oh God Almighty, I come against fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God Almighty, that every sickness in the name of Jesus Christ, even that which confuses doctor, that God, you will bring clarity in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, mighty God, and I come against the devourer, mighty God, that will want to confuse her and have her in a cycle of going to different doctors, mighty God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that Father, you will, oh God Almighty, order their steps because you said the steps of a good man are ordered by you mighty god order their steps to the right doctor mighty god and holy spirit you will speak to this doctor and you will oh god almighty administer that which you want to administer father we are aware that you don't even need a doctor in this midst but god almighty whatever way you choose lord let it be done by your power let it be done according to your will mighty god lord i pray in the name of jesus christ that your spirit of peace will just be upon her even now ah oh, god almighty one more time i come against fear one more time i come against doubt in the name of jesus christ oh god almighty the enemy will not come and minister to her and weary her spirit but god even now give her a Song. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Help her to roll back, uh, my God, the curtains of memories now and then. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, I pray, God, that Lord God Almighty, she will just, oh God, remember, oh God, Lord, I pray that you will show her scriptures, uh, Lord God Almighty, of those who you have healed, mighty God. Lazarus was dead, mighty God. Jairus' daughter was dead, mighty God. The boy in the funeral procession in Nain was dead, God. And oh God, you resurrected them. And God, oh you God. still have life in her, mighty God. Oh you God. are the one who is flowing through her vein, mighty God. Father, I just rebuke every sickness now. And I declare healing upon your servant in the name of Jesus Christ. And I give you thanks. Glory, honor, and praise. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Dr. Rose, could you just speak into this woman of God's life? I don't know. We want to talk it to you. Thank you, Jesus. We want to talk it to you a little bit, even the son of Glory to God. I don't know if you can unmute for a few minutes, Dr. Rosen, to speak something in this woman of God. Just declare something. Bless her. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Woman of God. I see books coming in the sun. I see books, evangelist, the sun. I see books coming in the spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many Amen. <laughs> Amen. Evangel is it Evangelist Watson? Yes. yes. Oh, praise God. I, I caught a bit of the, the word and, and really in, in my spirit. Thank you so much. Amen. All right. Um, I, I just want to encourage you, woman of God, that as you pour in, God is going to fill you up. You know that. Yes. Amen. And, you know, don't watch the faces don't watch the faces but you have to do this time and you know set your face like flint and yes. just set the lord yes. sometimes you know when you are up against some you know those persons that are great men and women mm -hmm. great men and women sometimes will make you feel a little smaller, but you're not a grasshopper. You're, uh, you're so great in the hand of God. Mm. You're yes. like a battering ram. Hallelujah. Man, you will push down doors. You will push down stuff in the realm of the spirit. In the name mm. of Hallelujah. Jesus. Your voice is going to be echoed and re-echoed in areas, hallelujah, in conferences and seminars mm. that will bring glory and honor to God. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Your voice, hallelujah, Lord. will make so much of a difference in people's life. Woman of God, you will find the cast down. You will seek out the lost and the lonely because they are the ones that God would have you to go to and lift them up. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. They have not the throne aside. Yes. No bodies. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So whoever wants to wonder how is it that you are talking to so and so, don't you know who that one is? Mm. And yes, that's who I've called you to go to. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Yes, thank you, Lord. For I'm believing God. That you will not only be talking to them, but you will have a place where you can interact with them. You know, yes. sometimes like a home, you never know what God is doing. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God. You can reach them because you have a heart for those people. 
Yes. You have a heart of gold for those people, a heart of compassion. You not only say, but you reach them. Some of us, we only have meetings to discuss how this one is doing, but we do nothing, but you are not like that. You reach them. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Pastor Woods. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. My God, all of us sakata. Holy Spirit, hey Kabasanda. My God, my God. Somebody just want to bless the woman of God. Masakata. We we're, were truly blessed by this message tonight. I, I don't know that the, the whole atmosphere of the shift by this message. My God, and it even caused me to even look into myself to say, am I carrying the enough people that I should carry? Am I um, doing enough? My God, I was really blessed and challenged tonight. Thank you, um, Pastor Nicole Maxwell and Dr. Rose for uh, speaking over this woman of God life. My God, I want to say to you tonight, woman of God, boldly, you don't see nothing yet. You don't see nothing yet. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. It's wonderful those words. Because you know, as you she was, as you said, you know, you look on YouTube and you says, Why are they crying down each other? And from last year, I've been saying to God, What is it about? You know, we crying down each other and we also look at the faults of each other. Mm. And I was saying to somebody on the clubhouse and they were saying, and somebody was saying that should a married woman take a present from uh, uh, somebody, uh, another man. And I thought to myself, you know, God sometimes speaks to me and said, give somebody a present. And it's no ulterior motive. And the man said, I'm getting rid of her. And I said to them, where is the forgiveness? And tonight, really, you know, I look at it and said, where is the forgiveness of each other? And as she said, we're ready to pull each other down. Well, I don't get involved in it. When somebody telling me something, once I was talking to somebody and somebody was expecting me to say the wrong thing. And I said to her, never mind. She says, you know, Brown, one of these days I'm going to give you a lick because everything I tell you, you <laughs> said, never mind. I said, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? I can't tell you to go and beat up the person or go and... Because this person and her was workmate and one wasn't doing the right thing. And she, she was, was waiting for me to say, take her to management. I don't, I'm not taking involved in that. And you know, when Pastor Chris lost the divorce from his wife, I was going to a church and the lady kept, and the, she was the second pastor to us. But every Sunday she started talking. And I just thought to myself, I can't be here. I can't be here. I can't join with you in this conversation. So I left. I left the church because I every Sunday after church is over, and I am, and the Holy Spirit anoint me. She come to talk about somebody. And when Benny in again, she come to talk. I said, I don't want this. And I, when I got saved, there was a pastor McIntyre, God rest his soul. In. He said, we see, when, when he finished, he said, we see nothing, hear nothing. And if anybody is walking contrary in the house of God, don't join them. <laughs> from him tell me that from 1968 i have that on my spirit somebody going if you're gonna talk about anybody don't don't come to me don't come because i don't want to hear it yes. so i really bless you my sister you really speak from the house of from the heart of god tonight to my spirit and i pray that god will forever bless you and give you more anointing open your eyes open your ears open your spirit 
anoint you from the crown of your head unto the sole of feet and give you more revelation in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and I hand the mic back to you hallelujah glory Woo, my God hallelujah Jesus. Jesus. hallelujah um woman of God let me just um I just want to greet each and everyone on this platform tonight may God bless you all um evangelist um this one let me tell you something this word that you released tonight is a word that the lord has been bringing in my spirit for the entire week and the lord was taking it from a place um from meshevabeth with the the um is is babysitter the carer and for God to use you to deliver this word tonight, I know that he wanted to do something. He wanted his people to arise. Mm. When I heard you started to speak, I said, thank you, Jesus. Because I actually started to write the message because I know God really want to speak to his people. You know, because we are at a place where is that we are so quick to judge but we are not quick to help we are not quick to assist you yes. understand me and what the lord was showing me what with, with mesheva bet when the the, the 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 maid you know when she was trying to run even though she was trying to flee to save him she 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 she, she he, he end up falling and end up being crippled Yes. And the Lord was saying to me that, you know, a lot of, you know, his people are crippled because of who are carrying them. Yes. So I know that this was a word from God tonight because the Lord was speaking to me about it. And I just want to decree and I declare over your life tonight that Jeez. you will continue to be the woman of God that God has called you to be. Don't let nobody water your dung. Don't My let God. nobody quiet your dung. Stand up in the anointing that God has placed upon your life. Jesus. When you turn into an, uh, uh, an anointing Jeez. where you carry an authority, when you speak, just say it, the Lord thy God and you know you don't want tight down you will not have followers you will not have friends not everybody will like what is coming from you but i say to you Jeez. tonight uh, to stand up into the anointing uh, because Jeez. god has called Jeez. you as a midwife in the realm of the Jeez. spirit uh, Jeez. you are called as a midwife Yes, Lord. To help people to give birth. Yeah. And what you have done tonight, you have not only delivered the word, but you have strengthened a lot of God's people. Because some of us are becoming so weary because we are doing, we are doing, we are doing, but there's nothing coming back into us. There's yeah. nothing releasing back onto us. And a few months ago, I remember I've also released over this prior line where God said that there's a lot of his soldiers who are crippled. I remember. Come on. Yes, yes. So these are confirmation. Mm. And I just want to cover you with the blood of Jesus. From the very crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I command the Holy Ghost to pack you up in the name of Jesus from every dance, in the name of Jesus, every assignment of the enemy to shut you down in the name of Jesus. I command that that the fire of God will continue to be upon your tongue in the name of Jesus, that you will continue to release. Thus saith the Lord thy God. 
Because sometimes uh, we have people carrying us uh, and they are not on the level that they should be. And that's why we become crippled. My God. My God. Jesus. I decree and I declare that God will continue to cover you under his blood in Jesus Christ's name. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I think God is giving you another level of anointing. For the word that is ahead, this is nothing yet. This is nothing yet, said God. This is nothing yet, said no, God. Because what he has in store for you is giving you another level of anointing and he's also giving you grace to go through. Holy Spirit. You're going to come upon a lot of you're gonna come upon a lot of naysayers and you know people that was gonna talk uh, about the anointing some people not gonna even understand the anointing that is on your life because they're gonna say why is she so fierce but god said that don't worry about it i'm giving you the grace yes lord amen over her lord in jesus christ's name oh lord we thank you jesus hallelujah thank you minister nedger thank you mother norma for speaking over the woman of god i just feel it in my spirit that's just allow people to speak in this woman of god life amen 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 because this season you must be encouraged amen you, you, you so must you amen. must go ahead man of god yeah, greetings. Thank you, Pastor Chin. Um, Evangelist Watson, is that right? Is it Evangelist Watson? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, listening to you at this point, I, I don't know you from Adam. <laughs> and I like it when I come into God's house, because for me, it is God's house. I may not be in a sanctuary with everybody, but I am, because I'm in the presence of God um just listening to you talk uh, the first impression i have is that god has got a very what i would call volatile mission for you mm. because it's going to be one that changes and transform how people pursue you and how they perceive you i'm even hearing you talk now as people are delivering into your life proclaiming into your life and you are speaking very quiet and very humbly um but you see this is where people is gonna make a big mistake because you are actually quite a lioness yeah in yeah. the hand of god and they're not gonna real really realize i go along 100 percent with everybody and prophetess nedra mm. you hit it on the head what you need to be concerned about is doing the will of him who has sent you not listening to what other people are saying about you you spoke about the fact that you were a person with quite a lively mouth god has not taken that away from you he's just transformed it so he can use it 
And when he gives you something to speak, you have to speak it. You cannot withhold it. I heard you tonight quite a couple of times when you were speaking. It's as though you, in a sense, a little bit of you kicked in and you was trying to justify and you said you're not having a go at anybody. But can I suggest to you, my beloved sister, that when God assigned you to come on to deliver the word that he planted the seed within you and allowed it to grow, it was birthed out of your own experience. And when God brought you on here, he brought you on here because it was this platform that it was needed to be delivered and proclaimed for the maximum effect. But also recognize that in doing this that God had assigned you to do, you've opened up yourself to be elevated to do mm. more and to go further. If you had kept into the mind of saying, I can't and I wouldn't, then your elevation would never happen. But now your elevation is truly on the way because you did deliver what God gave you to deliver on the platform that he wanted you to deliver it. Now expect that when you go further, that nice. the platforms are going to get bigger. Mm. Your, your, your congregation is going to get larger. Come on now. But you have now been trained into how to surpass what your humanity says. Because understand, what is happening with the humanity is that the devil is afraid of what you can do. So therefore, he's causing that part of you that he thinks he can control. He's in suggesting and insurging things and putting people in the way that's going to make you hopefully bow under the pressure and not give in. But let me charge you tonight that that which God has given you from tonight, you My develop God. it and you run with it. Hey, we've been told in the word of God. What did Habakkuk say? Write the vision. Write it plain. So I'm saying to you, whatever God give you, give it plain. Don't hide it. Don't conceal it. Don't change it. Don't transform it for nobody. Give it raw, spiritual raw, because that's how God wants it to be delivered. And be bold. Be strong. Yeah, because what I hear coming out of you tonight, I know is not the end of you. It is the beginning of you. It now. is the beginning of you. Hey, Pastor no Chin man. mentioned he see books coming out of you. Girl, trust me. God is going to not only give you the gift to speak the word, he's going to give you the gift to write the word so that people yeah. can have it to look at when they need it. My God. So stand bold. I don't know you, but I feel this in my spirit. And I, I was patiently waiting to get an opportunity to throw this into you. And, I, 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 and I'm serious when I say I'm throwing it into you. I'm in Bristol in England, but I'm throwing it into you because I want the devil to understand. Here is some people who are prepared to carry you just as much as you have learned and taught us how to carry others. We are prepared to carry you because we know how to proclaim it into the atmosphere with power and with authority and if we do that we know that god will make sure it comes to pass you are covered my god you are covered yes. god. so whichever way god bends you bend with the floor yes. wherever he straightens you up straighten up with the floor Wherever yeah. he tells you to go down on your belly, go down because you go with the flow. Because where he leads you, you have promised that you will go. Yes. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. My God thank bless you. you. Thank my you. God. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Thank you. Yes, Lord. We hear you tonight. Mm. My God. Yes. My yes, God, yes, Dr. Yes, Kelly, yes. I know you're over there on the, the Jesus. Dr. Kelly, I don't know you over there. I don't know if you're just listening, but my God, I, my God, I hope you can just speak over this woman of God life. My God, my God. Can you hear me, Dr. Kelly? Amen. Jesus. My mama shot to Libica. Mm. 
La Bata Sunda. Dr. Kelly, I see your mic opening, but we're not getting a sound true. Oh, La Basanda, La Basikete, La Basukete. Jesus, we worship mm -hmm. you. Labor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, Bashanda. Somebody else on the platform, just go ahead until Dr. Kelly sort out a bit. Just go ahead and speak over this woman of God. Encourage her some more. I want I want you to leave this platform, um, evangelist, the son of Watson, being encouraged. Yes. I know you are a fighter, but I want you to leave this platform being encouraged. Yes. I've listened to the message. I've listened to over uh, C.N. Nelson. He shed a light. That was such a, a, a profound message. Uh, you, you were saying at the start of your message, you were saying, God, it's just a little encouragement. But it, you don't know the impact mm -hmm. and, and the severity of this message that you carried tonight. I see people over on the clubhouse saying they're being blessed. People on the YouTube say they're blessed. People over here in the, the Google meeting is being blessed. What a word tonight. Amen. But you need to leave this platform. Uh, being encouraged, being encouraged, being encouraged because I see some season that you've been through that that really gets you done. Amen. Glory to God. And I hear the Spirit of God said He wants to strengthen you against those seasons. Mm -hmm. Makosa, the season that have the wind of, 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 of perplexity. Where you were saying, God, what is happening? What is happening? But confusion will no longer have an impact on you when you don't understand what is going on, my God Almighty. God is releasing a new strength in your life. I hear my wife evil prophesied <laughs> tonight. Marco Sakata, Marco Sa. Hey, Bashanda. Ah, like, can I go a little further to say, in case of who's not coming with you, where you're going, my God, you will still be walking. My God Almighty. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Can I say to you, Marco Sakata Yabahanda, the hands that meant to carry you will not drop you. Mm -hmm. I heard my wife prophesy that. Can I say the hands that meant to carry you will not drop you? Ah, uh, as our uh, men should, what his name was dropped, Makusata. I decree that the hands that's meant to carry you will not drop you. My God, you will not be crippled on the journey. My God Almighty, hey, Kasuta. Man, do the most no weapon that form against you, yes, 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 none yes, shall yes. prosper. Hey, yes, I decree tonight, man, do the most by the power of Jesus Christ. My yada was there will be nothing to terminate the assignment. I decree mm -hmm. that the message that you're carrying, there will be no season to cancel it. In mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. Maku, you will give birth to that which you're carrying in the name of Jesus. Maku, everything that is standing up against your limitation, that the power of God will break it down now in the name of Jesus. My God, we set a release over you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, my God Almighty, we decree there will be another level of the anointing you will be operating in in the name of Jesus. Oh, we cause that the spirit of boldness will be upon you, my God. As God himself said to Jeremiah, set your face like a fleet. I hear see a Nelson release that on you. My God, I come in agreement and say the let you will sacrifice like a flint. My God will deliver the word. 
on time and in season my god in the name of jesus uh, in the geographic location my ghost uh, i decree in the name of jesus uh, that great signs will follow in the name of Jesus, my God, we lose you tonight from everything that want to keep you down we lose you tonight from everything that want to keep you back we lose you tonight Marco Shakata, my god into the assignment we lose you tonight by the power of the holy ghost my god almighty yes, 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 yes. every single yes. my god that want to set up for you we them asunder in the name of Jesus, my God Almighty. Every burden and yoke that yes. I want to put upon you, my God, we decree that Jesus, Marco Sakata, burden is light and yoke is easy in the name of Jesus, my God Almighty. My God, we decree frustration will not be your sin season in the name of mm. Jesus. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. frustration will not be the place of rest in my mm. God. Mm. We decree a ship tonight. Mm. 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 The Holy Ghost, I feel you, God. Mm. My mm. God, we mm. decree a ship in the ministry in the name of Jesus greater measure in the name of Jesus my God we decree my God we are not your standing in the name of Jesus Yes, Lord. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. This is a fire. Mm. My God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. 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 The warriors yes, yes, to come yes, alive. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, the warrior in you to come alive. All right, all right. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lose the warrior in you in, yes. in your servant Jesus. tonight. Jesus. My God, lose the warrior. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you, God. Loose the warrior. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Loose the warrior. Jesus. My God, we loose the warrior. Mm. My God, we loose yes, the warrior. Mm. In the God. My ministry, we loose the warrior. Into your house, Mama Sukotore Baba Handa. I don't know what I see yeah. something yes. going on in your environment. Yes, Lord. Yes. tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, we lose the warrior to fight back. In the name of Jesus, Lepaka Saka Tulibi Handa. I decree tonight you're a weapon. In the yeah. God, hey, come Amen. In the name of Jesus, Makusata, we yeah. send you back to blast like a dandemite. In the name of Jesus, we send you back to blast mm. like a warhead. Makusata, in the name of Jesus, hey, come on, Your brightness is going to take on different level of severity of power in the atmosphere. Makusata, we decree your prayers gonna start to shift greater things ah, yes. environment we send you back in the blood of my 
power in the name of Jesus. My God, the baker, oh God, the vicinity in the name of Jesus. Makusa, we decree Makosa Katalaba Hai, Lipaka Setta Koshaketu. My God, no weapon, the form against your seal of weapon, a form against you to the ears because of who you are and where you're going. But we decree tonight the places those weapons used to affect you will affect you no more. We decree in the name of Jesus, my God, we sending you back to stand in the head of the enemy, to stand in the head of the enemy. Lord, we decree tonight you're walking in a different level of the anointing. I seen the realms, I seen the realms, yes. realms around you. I see, I see things just, just, just going, going different way, running out. Mama Shekere Babosha, Mama Masakota, because I see some things was coming in to suffocate you, but I see just moving. Some is going to the left, some is going to the back, some is moving. Then it's scattering, Mark. See the spirit of God is scattering. Oh, my God, some things even now. My bubble, sir. My bubble, shake it. Some is clean left, some is clean right. My God, Almighty, some is clean overhead. Hey, Great level of freedom. Everything that tried to shut you down. My God, from being that which God called you to be. We set the rebuke against it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name mighty God. Holy Spirit. Can I just release a few more things and say? From this season, you're gonna produce greater qualities than which you than which you have been producing before. I see a greater level of qualities has been produced even now. Mama, so the ministry, greater qualities of message. Marcusa, I hear overseer prophesied. Labakas are just coming to agreement with what I'm hearing. Yes, the book. Man, that have been delayed. That have been delayed for years. It's coming yes. alive. My God, yes. even publish my secret. Hey, Abbasanda, Lord God, I hear it. You won't be afraid to leap into that which God has uh, must start to live and deposit in your spirit. Yes, I see you stepping out. My God Almighty, I see great vision manifesting. The things that used to hold you back, they have no longer the power to hold you back. Hey, because the power of God is breaking their fingers oh, the in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Lord. you are worthy, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mighty God. Mighty Jesus. God. Glory, 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah, oh, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. Hallelujah. You're waiting for people to introduce you, but God <laughs> said, I'm going to introduce you myself. That's My right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My Jesus. Hosta. Because Amen. I see the spirit realms, you have been neglected to be introduced. <laughs> I see the spirit realms. That some people know what you're carrying, but they're hiding it from places. Mm. 
Spirit. Mm. And I hear the Holy Spirit says that he's going to bypass the middleman and he's going to introduce you himself. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Mama Because yes, Lord. all the mechanism that have been employed and employed to, to oppress you and to hide you through the years, the Holy Spirit says, is lifting off the veil. He's going to expose you. Ah. Yes, because you've been through the process, you've been patient yes. with him. Mm. Now is the season, God says, that mm. I'm going to mm. unveil you. Holy God, holy God. Yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Get yes. ready, get ready, get ready. Because your diary is about to get busy. Get ready. Because the assignment is coming, God says. Get ready. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank to make the appointment. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord. Lord. Glory, God. Glory, God. My God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Minister Chin. Go ahead, Evangelist Dylan. Uh, I, the Spirit has reminded me of this word. I don't know if it was last week or whenever it was shared. Obedience precede manifestation. My God. <laughs> and it's our sister's yes. obedience, hallelujah, That's right. that That's has right. led to all this this evening or tonight. Obedience precede manifestation. <laughs> and I want our sister to run with that word as well. Yes. Obedience precede manifestation. God mm. bless you. My Thank God. you. Mm. My God. My God, my God, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, yes. Apostle Kelly, I see you on mute over there. My God, uh, do you get anything in your spirit for this woman of God? The songs are not coming through, I don't know why. I know why your soul is not coming true. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, woman of God, tonight we just thank you for, for that word. We thank you for revealing yourself. Glory to God. Amen. Praise Glory to God for all that he has done in this place i see pastor maxine welch on the platform blessing to you woman of god for coming over amen to god be the glory great things he have done glory to god just to, to think about what happened at the start of this meeting how we were hacked and overrun by all different type of actors we see people from china japan running in all kind of graphics picture putting up and stuff and the holy spirit said just stop praying tyrone we hear demons crying out tonight when they run in and we just start to plead the blood the warriors just take a stand and we didn't have to we just we remove about five person the rest of them just find their way out by themselves that's the power of God. So we realize that the devil tried to cancel this time <laughs> tonight. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> God prevailed. <laughs> Amen. Isn't God good? Glory mm. to God. Amen. Man, I saw yes. some of the I saw some of the believers run off <laughs> when, <laughs> when the override was going. I tell you, people were just coming in by the 30s running in i don't even know how they get in but god mm. just shut the gate they begin to cry and when the when the fire of god came down when the people of god lift up a standard 
they were just crying in the background they get so mad at us they were just in the chat box and we just take out a few and then the rest us follow amen to god be the glory amen next month for the four fridays in next month or five fridays i don't know we're gonna do virtual crusade we, we that's what i heard god said to me so we're gonna do flyers uh we want to win some souls for the kingdom through this platform glory to god amen we so i i'm i'm, I'm encouraging you invite your unsaved relatives yeah those ones that were always praying for in the prayer request invite them on the platform so we can see them and pray for them as well so we want to try this virtual crusade uh we're gonna do a flyer so we send it out in the um the various group amen 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 thank you uh evangelist was so for for delivering tonight so powerfully amen um, thank you and a blessing on you so yes next month we want to do that virtual crusade uh we're gonna pray about it we're gonna fast about it uh, we don't know probably we have to send them to church to be baptized but we want to just uh initiate uh the, the salvation uh road to them so they can walk on it glory to god Minister Chin. Um, sorry. Minister Chin. Oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Um, before you close the platform, um, my husband, the Lord just dropped something in my spirit as you were declaring over, um, evangelist what, um, so Watson. Yeah, yes. Um, regarding releasing book, I hear the Lord said to tell you that you need to finish your book. <laughs> you need to finish your book amen and i saw the lord said to me to tell it was a picture graphic where the lord was showing me um um overseer nelson to pray for you pray for you i saw his hands over you amen. praying for you for that book to release amen that book need to release it has amen. been in the lane for too long and the lord said it's time for that book to be released amen so i, I don't know released. if um overseer nelson can just pray over you before you close this platform tonight regarding that book it need to be released mm -hmm. um, um, certainly go on passage finish off and i will definitely yes um okay. The thing is, the Lord gave me an assignment last week. I don't forget it either. Because when the Lord tell you to do something, he's going to keep it in your spirit. There were a few people in here that the Lord showed me last week to release. I did say it, but he did not allow me last week. But this week, he was going to. Amen. Glory to God. I pray about it. Uh, amen. I saw Lisa um, Sanderson, if I get that name correct. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Last week, I did say to you that the Lord did say something to me to release you. I don't know if you're still on, Lisa. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm Amen. still very much here. Amen. Glory to God. You remember I said that to you last week, that the Lord is yes. saying, Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I see you about to experience a Caesar change. Hallelujah. A season change. A season change. What what's what in the season for you? You're about to experience a season that you never experienced before. I see God is about to cause confusion to some things that have been occurring in your life. Hallelujah. Some things that have been fighting you through the years yeah. sometimes it seems like it leave you but it come back amen but i see god is about to totally set you free from it hallelujah 
completely. My God, my God. I, I, I see, as I, um, as I just said that also, I see God is about to heal you. My God. I see, I see the spirit of God pouring something in your belly even now. Mm. I see some things even drying up as the spirit of God pouring something like a oil in your belly. Can I declare it now? You're gonna run through troops. Hallelujah. And you leap over a wall in this season. I hear children. I don't know what happening in that department. But I see the hand of God is rescuing. I see God is about to help your household. I see God about to help your household yes lord there's gonna be a massive turnaround you're gonna come back here and testify there's gonna be a massive a major turnaround in your old soul jesus my god mm -mm -mm. i see god is bringing things in divine order Jesus, yes, Lord. And I hear the Spirit of God saying that you need to seek Him deeper. Mm. You need to come closer. Mm -mm -mm. I hear that. Jesus. I hear it. You need to come closer to him. I hear God said, the closer you come to him, mm -hmm. the greater you're going to experience the release. Jesus. I see God bring me back to your childhood just a while ago. I see some things that bungle up. Ma, Osa, that caused trauma in your childhood. God mm. is out to fix. Jesus. Hey, hey, Bahanda. Everything from your childhood that run over in your adulthood. I see God about to clean the slate clearly, completely, absolutely. My God, there's a release on your life. Ma, Thank my mm. god my god my god depression have no power over you oh. in the name of jesus Marcus. my god almighty i see you getting back your nights of rest that have been wrapped i see god about to renew your strength my mm. god that gonna sure. even manifest man so they be sick on the outside. Hey, Basha. My God. Mama Sukho. I see years of fighting, years of struggle. Mama Sheko Rebaba Handa. I see years that try to break you. Oh, Lord. But I hear God say it's going to renew. Your strength mm. is going to renew your strength, but he's calling you to a deeper place. I keep on hearing that he's calling you to a deeper place of worship with him, he's calling your prior to a deeper place. Yes. Ah, yeah. He's calling you to a place of commitment. I hear that in the spirit. Hey, Kabasakata. Hey, I hear God said, Would you trust him to give yourself away to him? He's calling you the season to mm. give yourself away. Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. This is this, 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 this the fire that's sitting on my head right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kabasunda. 
I decree over your life right now that every generation contract hmm. that is affecting your life. Every generation alter that is erect that is affecting your own soul. I decree by the power of God that it is broken now in the name of Jesus. Hey, Bashka. I plead the blood of Jesus everywhere your name is buried in the graveyard. Mama Sukoto. Mama shake it. That's the Holy Ghost burning papers right now. Labasakata. Because who the sun sets free is free indeed. I see you getting a, a mighty release. Jesus, yes, Lord. Mama Sukatole, baby. Mm -hmm. Mama Shepherd. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it started from. But I see a contract. I see a contract. A generation contract that have been affecting your life. But mm -hmm. tonight, in the name of Jesus, we cancel those contract yes in jesus name mama sakotola bahanda mama lady lisa people see you but they don't know what you've been through because they don't look like it they don't understand the severity of the battle that you're going through and some of the things that happened to you, it wasn't natural causes. I'm telling you tonight. Some of the things was diabolically intended to destroy you. But tonight in the name of Jesus, we decree you loose by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, she baba handa. We decree you loose in the name of Jesus. We decree you loose by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, I decree tonight you're walking out of this meeting in a great level. Yes, of Holy Ghost. Hey, Bashakata. Yes, I hear you, God. As our Lazarus was unwrapped from the mm. great clothes, I decree that the Spirit of God is unwrapping you from everything that Satan has buried you up into. Lama Sukoto with the hand. Everything that Satan agents of bury you up into bury your yes. name bury your bloodline mm -hmm. we decree by the power of the holy ghost hey ha, ha, ha. lord jesus help me tonight my god somebody just plead the blood sometimes you're wondering why the money not coming together no matter all your children blood, blood, together. Blood. it was a natural mm. and it was a bad money management i feel my belly is on fire there are some things that set you that way. Mm. Set on your bloodline that certain things won't happen. But I feel deliverance coming in this place tonight yes. for you. Yeah. My God. God, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hey, yes. I yes. feel yes. the fire of God. Hey, Kasakata. Manda mm. Basakata. Hey, Kabasakata Bahanda. Woman of God, I feel my belly hurting me by the side of my belly. I don't know. I don't know if you have a son or something. I see children coming before me. I see children coming before me. I think that's my brother that you're referring to. You do what? My brother, when you say your son, that's my brother. Your brother. Your brother. He's like a son, so you know he's I'm older than he is, and I kind of have that. Um... I see assignment. I see assignment tonight. 
that the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, I see assignment tonight. What is his name? I see an assignment tonight. Mm -hmm. I see an assignment tonight that the Lord is cancer. I don't want to say it over this platform, but I see an assignment that the Lord is canceling. Jesus. Mama Suka, you won't go into that in the no house of mourning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you won't go into no house of mourning. Okay, Baba, hi. Because the Lord has canceled it. Let me tell you, people of God, it's not everybody come around here and say a friend of Fred, you know. Some people just getting close to you to kill you. I'm just going to put that in the chat. Some people just getting close to you and them can't poison you, then set up people to kill you. I don't know why God put that in my spirit. But if they can't get close to poison you, they set the people to kill you. But I want to say to you, uh, uh, Lady Lisa Sanderson, you will not go into the house of mourning. The Lord. The name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hiya, Usha. Thank you. I feel a release. I feel a release tonight, this morning. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, Kasakata. Jesus. Jesus. My God. My God. My God. Can somebody just open their mic and worship God with me? We are we're about to go, you know. We're about to leave. Glory to God. But I one thing I know, I can't go unless I finish the assignment. We worship you, we glorify you, Jesus. We praise you. The assignment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have spoken tonight. We have heard you. Jesus. We appreciate you speaking to us, God. We are grateful. Hallelujah. 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 Accept our praise. Glory is thy. Forever and always, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, God, we Somebody tap into your ear. Tap into your ear. Come on. Tap into your ear. Tap into your ear. I don't for all that you are doing. God, we touch you, we thank you, God. 
Jesus, Jesus, hey, Baba Sakata, Jesus, my God, we we we're gonna close up soon. Hey, Baba Talaba, we're gonna close up soon. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm just gonna open the platform for testimonies. Glory to God for testimonies. Minister Jim. We're oh. going to take a few requests. Oh, Go ahead. Jesus. It's me again. You know, yeah. um, there are some silent persons on the platform. Mm. God needs to hear their voice. Amen. Can we Amen. just give them time to open their mics and just show three hallelujah. Amen. I am looking at our sister Sharon Monroe. Mm. She's one of them. Mm. Open your mic and shout three times. Because God wants to move, but you are too quiet. Amen. Kind by humus cried out. Mm-hmm. God wants to talk about crying out tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Cry out. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Cry out. Cry out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know who you are. You're silent. Mm-hmm. And God is waiting to hear your cry. Mm-hmm. Mighty God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy, God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, there is deliverance oh, in your praise. Oh. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, deliverance in your praise. Glory oh. to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> You know, yes, as, as, as being here. It's not finished yet. She needs to continue. Francine has been here. What the first person that been here tonight? I think she came over. Um, came over something like past ten, five minutes or somewhere there. But in the midst of the service, I hear the spirit of God says that to tell her that it is well. It is well. It is well. I want to say to you, um, um, Sister Francine, that it is well with you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, uh, the Lord. The Lord is calling you to a place a greater place, a greater walk. I want to, I want to um, get it correct, a greater walk. You know, sometimes through the years we go to church and like people never identify we as this or identify we as that. We don't believe that we are. But the Lord is calling it to a greater place, a greater place. I see, I see years where the enemy 
have robbed you of great possessions emotionally psychologically the devil has done so much to you if you didn't know god the way you do probably would have been in some home not knowing who you are or in a casket many people see the smile on your face but they don't understand the severity of the battle that you're being through lord god lord jesus lord jesus but tonight god want to heal you mm. tonight god want to heal you because my sister i see you bleeding i want to be real with you i see you as that woman that was bleeding bleeding but tonight there's virtue being released to make you whole maka suto koshikete i decree that you're walking off of this platform being hold completely in the name of jesus hey kabasat i decree a restore i decree as though god gave david that instruction to pursue mm -hmm. and recover all mm -hmm. and recover all in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Laba sheke bahai, gusa dalaba sanda dalaba sakata. I decree in your life that the season is your season to recover all. Lebusha, Jesus, eba sukote babahanda. My God, my God hallelujah i see a great void that need to be filled by the spirit of god i see a great void god said you want to fill that void tonight god said you want to fill that void tonight I see you've tried to hide from it and try to use other things to cover it. But God said, I want to fill that fight tonight. God said to tell you that you belong to him, to no one else and to nothing else. Ah, Kasuto. I hear the Spirit of God said you can't hide from the purpose that I have for you. I hear God said, no matter where you go, what I have ordained for you to do will follow you. Mm. Because I have picked you and you are special. My God. My God. That's what he says tonight mm. to you. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night of healing on this platform. Tonight is your night to recover. Hey, Basakutu Labahanda. What I want you to do, uh, what I want you to do, uh, Lady Francine, I want you to, my God, my belly is on fire. I'm telling you, my belly is on fire. There's a burden. There's a burden tonight. Lama Sakata. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, somebody help me show Jesus on this platform. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Jesus, Mighty God, Jesus, 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 there's just there's more than one burden in them, but there's a burden I'm carrying for somebody tonight. But God is gonna release you, Lady Francine. I want you to I want you to shout. I want you to shout Hallelujah several times. Yes. I really want you to shout it from the depth. I want you to shout it like somebody that is desperate, crying out for help. That's what I hear in my spirit. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mama, ma, shake it, baba, baba. You know, you ever see. Hallelujah. Come on, you gotta do it better than that. Take our. Hallelujah. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Mama, Come on. Hallelujah. Deeper. Yeah. Deeper. Yeah. Deeper. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Jesus. Yeah. It's coming. Deeper. Hallelujah. Oh, Deeper. <laughs> Yeah, you're reaching. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Yes, go deeper. Deeper. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, God. Push. Yes. 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 Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, oh, God, we worship you tonight, God. I exalt mm. you above all else, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Jesus. Restoration, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Mighty God. Jesus. 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 What a wonderful God you are. Oh, my Father, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, 
Lord mm-hmm. Jesus. Oh, God, yes, I Lord. thank you today. God, I thank you today. Jesus. My hallelujah. God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I worship you today, God. I lift you up, Jesus. I put that before you, God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. Break yes. every idol in my life, God. Yes. Come out of those shallow spiritual grave that the devil wanna put you in. Oh, Not over. Oh, Mama Sakata. Oh, hallelujah, mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Hey, love oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Missionary Sharon Minot, no matter what the devil do, he can't shut you down. I hear that in my spirit when the woman of God was worshiping. I hear God says, Missionary Sharon Minot. Come on, man. Oh, oh, what the devil do? He can't shut you down. He can't keep you on mute. Because there's an assignment on your life that you must fulfill. God says, I hear God say, Your season of release is on its way. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My God, your season of relief is on its way. Oh, yeah, Baba Sakata. Speak, man of God. Speak. The Lord said, I hear your cry. I heard your prayer. Marcus. Hey, I have sent the answer. I see. I see in the spirit realms where the devil trying to put you on mute. Yes. And I'm not talking on this platform or virtual platform. He's trying to mute you from the calling that is on your life. Hallelujah. He's trying to shut you down completely. Yeah. He's trying to tell you that you're not who God called you to be. Hey, Mama Satoshi. He's trying to paint a false image of who you are. But tonight I hear God says that he cannot mute you. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. Holy God. Lord, My God. I hear God says you're going to come out victorious. Yes. Yes, Lord. My thank God you. Almighty. Oh, thank For you. For all that you've been through, God says. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, He's going to repay you. I see compensation coming. Yes, Lord. For all the attack that you've been through. Oh, yes, Lord. God, I yes. put a demand of compensation on your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your season, God says, is about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Your season is about to change. Yes. Thank you, Lord. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Your season is about to change. My God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Glory to God. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you. you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. 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 
ne selebe ko sirebe bikusa mama mama kusaka tala mama mama ndolo bo shikuli de bikisa hallelujah thank you jesus thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost ana ya makuchi de de bikusa na 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 mama mama kuche de de bikisa Thank you, Jesus. Delay is not denied. I hear your God. Delay is not denied. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. We bless you, we worship you, we honor yes, you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My God. My God. My God. My God. Thank you, God. Hey, la basunda la basakata. Hey, la basunda la basakata. Jesus, I just think I, I, the, I just see the Holy Spirit just, just want me to do a, one more thing and then I will just keep a shakati di Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. You know, I, I just see somebody in this platform. I see somebody in this platform. They're trying to move, but they just feel stuck. Like your like like everything you try to move, it's like you can't move. No matter how you come up with the good plan, it's like you can't get it off the ground. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the Holy Ghost is gonna initiate you to move. I see it. I see like you're stuck. You feel stuck. And you're wondering, God, why am I in this place? Uh, I have the ideas, I have the plan, but I just can't get it off. And every time I try to do something, I just find myself at the same place. Tonight, you're going to move. Tonight, you're going to move. I know, I know you're on the, I know you're on the platform. Sometimes God do this because he just want to keep it concealed. But tonight you're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to get that business off the ground. You're going to get it up and running. You're going to move. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. You're going to move. Hey, Baba Sakata. And no, no untimely death will take you out. Hallelujah. Receive it. Mm -hmm. La Baba Sakata. I see God want to release some a wife husband on this platform as well since recently been acting strange he's not being himself his countenance has changed his oh, mind yeah. is going like his mind is somewhere else but tonight god is going to release your husband I want you wife just to come in agreement. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Le baba sakat. La baba sakat. It seems like his mind is being under attack. Hallelujah. Shake baba suto la basanda. Speak Lord. And deliverance in the atmosphere. Hey, Bashanda. I know some people is just waiting for me to call on them, but this is <laughs> in the name of Jesus. 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 I can't even say it clearly, um, Ivan just Dylan. There's anointing in this place. Um, yes, if, man if, of if God, we, yes. If we could understand, 
if we could understand what happened at the meeting before mm. the start, we understand the level of anointing. But mm -hmm. it's glory to God. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just initiating some stuff because the spirit of God is. But there's anointing in this place to talk yes. into. Amen. Amen. My God, Very glory to yes. God. And yes. I don't want to. That, that's why sometimes, like time like this, I wouldn't even say nothing about requests because I don't want to act like I don't understand what's going on. There's a Hallelujah. season that God wants us to tap into what being released. There's a season that God just wants us to just tap in by faith. Like that woman said, hey, I know God, you're not coming for me. You're going somewhere else, but I'm going to make use of the opportunity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody catch that tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Amen. Because, because, because cancer will dry up on this platform tonight if you're top in. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Cancer will dry up. Amen. Diabetes will dry up. Whatever sickness on. is on Come the on. platform, we decree to, to dry up. Amen. 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 God. Amen. Amen. We believe God tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes we talk about Paul and, and, and Peter, but they didn't have no they don't have no advantage of us, you know. Because we have the same no, not God and we have the same God. That's right. Hallelujah. Lord of mercy. They, not like they have advantage over us. It's just we don't have that, not believe in the way that they believe. That's right. The only thing that they have over us is belief, faith. They have more faith, faith. than us. And then I on, Come on, sir. Eba Shanda Nabasakata. My mm. God, my God, the, the, the anointing is what destroyed the yoke. It's not even the man that is prophesying or is running. Not the at all. Well, yeah, it's the anointing not that destroyed the yoke. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus, healing in the name Jesus. of Jesus. If, if, you're not going, if you're not going through anything tonight, tonight, just, just believe for somebody. Yes, God, God hallelujah. Amen, my God. Believe for somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Lama oh, said, believe for somebody that connects you tonight. Mm. Hey, Tosa. Yeah, I am. Holy Spirit. Because there's mm. still for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Yes, my God. Holy Spirit. Holy God. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy God. I worship you. Hallelujah. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty we, we speak peace into that household that is under attack even now. Mighty God, I receive it. In the name it. of Jesus. I my receive God, peace. My God, my God. Yes, we yes. We peace into that household right now in the name of I Jesus. I receive peace. Mighty God. In the power mm. of the Holy Ghost. Mighty God. Mama, mm. shake it, brother, I receive peace. I receive healing. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah jesus jesus, jesus. peace into the house peace. right now peace my peace. god almighty my the doors god. are open the just doors are open hold on just hold on to it tonight <laughs> my god just hold on to it amen, my amen. amen. hallelujah my god I decree peace to disrupt what is disrupting your peace, your, your yes. peace of mind right now. I Can I talk it like that as I hear? I decree peace to disrupt what is disrupting your peace of mind. Come on, man of God, I just like that. Peace oh, to disrupt yeah. oh, what is yes. causing. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Peace. Oh, yes. Peace of Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
I want everyone on this platform that need peace right now, just to, to write peace, to show peace, to declare peace in the name peace, of Jesus. Peace, 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 Glory to the life of my children. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, take some Hallelujah. peace for your children. Peace, so peace for the husband and the wife. Peace, peace God, man. because some of you are, are meeting Hallelujah. hell at the workplace. Take Hallelujah. some peace for the workplace. Hallelujah. My Hallelujah. God, family. Thank you, Peace is your portion tonight. Peace is your portion. My God, we pin peace on you. We pin it in your whole soul. We pin it in your marriage. We pin it in your finance. We pin it on your Thank children. You, peace is your Thank potion. You. Peace mm -hmm. is my potion. My God. Peace is my portion in the name of Jesus. Peace is my, my children portion in the name of Jesus. I receive God, yes. peace for my children. <laughs> I receive peace for Kenya and Marison. My God, in the name of Jesus. Peace. Yes, woman, Amen. come on. Cry out. Take our yes. Santa. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 I like that. If you could, if you feel brave enough to call some name, call some name, man. Jesus. Mama, call. if you don't want to call some name, call your host peace address. In the life of my God Jesus. Almighty, call your word. Peace. 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 God, my God, peace is not just my push, peace is my life, Lord. Lord, oh, God. oh God Almighty, top all stand peace. My God, oh, in peace. the name of Jesus. Peace, peace, peace. Work, in the name please. Of Jesus. Peace. I receive it, Lord. Peace. 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 Oh God, Jesus. peace, Lord. Peace. Oh, Lord. Peace for Jamaica. Peace for the 14 parishes. Peace. I'm standing a charge in Jamaica right now. My God Almighty. Peace. Peace. To cease. Peace. 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 We declare we declare a decline. in the murder rate. Marcus Shatter. We send a Holy Ghost siege over the fourteen parties. We see the blood of Jesus. Marcus, oh Calabash, Chakata, oh my Jamaica, come on, fire warriors, my God Almighty, we declare peace. Many of, us, many of us talking about what the government oh, doing. The government can't do nothing. Because we rest against uh, 
principalities and powers, wicked spirit. We no rest against flesh and blood. There's a demon releasing Jamaica, murderous demons. We fight yes, in the name of come on. Jesus. We are not a cutter. We decree peace over Jamaica. In the name of Jesus. Peace. 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 My God, some passes all understanding, Lord. My God Almighty, we see people getting getting shot in those places now. My God, some places that, that never have murder. Never have no murder. Never have no murder. Never have no we oh believe the blood of blood Jesus. 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 Blood so of so Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Mercy, 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 Jesus. My God. My God, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Mm, mm. Oh, mm. God, oh, God, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, the dealers, the Jesus, deliverance of Jamaica. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's our Lord, or the heads that are behind it, and the heads that are behind it, expose God, expose God, expose in the name of Jesus. Every large door tonight, my God, every corrupt door, every corrupt finger, every large door. My God, those who are making millions of crime, hallelujah, my God, Jesus. My God, God. lock every large door. The large door, the large door. The scamming. My God, we send the blood. My God, promote Holy Ghost. We send the blood. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. In the name name of Jesus. My God Almighty. Holy Spirit. My God. The Spirit. Jesus, 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 but because of selfishness, God, we have Jesus, we repent, we cry out to you. My God, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jesus, Jamaica, Mama Sokotola, Baba, Baba, right, exalted a nation. My God, we call on the church to the place of righteousness. We call yes, Lord. the church to the place oh, of awareness. Yes, Lord. We call yes, the Lord. Church to the place of activeness. Yes, we call Lord. The church to the place of her duty. My mm. God. Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Holy Spirit, how do you call for each other? My Jesus. God. Hey God, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh God, come again. My God, God. hear the cry of the mourning mothers. Hear the cry, my God, of the groaning fathers. My God, those who have lost their God. siblings, God, to the violence, to the gun, to the knife. My God, we no. cry out on this platform tonight. Jesus. 
Help, Lord, help, Lord. My God. Oh, we're faith. Hallelujah. Holy yep. Ghost arrest. Holy Ghost arrest. Holy Ghost arrest. Mercy. My yes, God. Lord. We are My God. Send the church in the street, God. Send the church in the street. Mm -hmm. My God, send Lord, the church in the streets. Yes, hallelujah. God almighty. Mm. Mm. By ways. Hey. Mm -hmm. Jesus. In the 14 parishes. My yes, God, come out to worry as them to stir the environment. To stand in the mighty. Yeah, Kosa, to bring repentance, to bring repentance, to bring su surrender in God, surrender. Jesus. Jesus. My God. Have your way, Lord. Jesus. 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 Lord. Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. Shut down the port that is carrying the idols. Shut mm -hmm. down idol Jesus. worshiping. My God. All sort of mm -hmm. incantation. My God. All kind of foreign gods are coming in. Shut down the, the spiritual atmosphere. God. Massacre. Mighty God. We decree Jamaica Christian country. Yes. My God Almighty, we decree Jamaica will not be polluted in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus mm -hmm. by the homosexual agenda. My my God over Saint Catherine. Marcus Natalava Sander over Manchester, make Natalava Sander over Saint Elizabeth, Ebaba Sander of Sakoto. We send the blood. We Baba Sakata, Sander of Sander. We send the blood. In the name of Jesus. My God, over the fourteen years, we send the blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus. Oh God, Jesus, glory to my God, my God, my God, my God. Jamaica, we decree Jamaica will not go down the road of eighty in the name of Jesus. My God, we decree a reverse back to righteousness. We decree a reverse back to the fear of God. Shende in the name of Jesus. My God, we call out the prophetism, but are in the cave that is hiding. My God, come forth. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, my God, we declare a sound of the voice of the truth. My God Almighty, we cry for the waters, we call for the things not to rise up. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, thank you. Hallelujah. My Jesus. God, my God, expose, expose tonight, Lord God, all the corruption, the head of corruption, expose God. Yes, my God. 
for the Almighty. Take the powers out of their hand that they use to, yes, to manipulate and to shift and to, my God Almighty, to manipulate the system. Over the their ways. We decree tonight in the yes. name of Jesus over Jamaica. Lord, I don't the the name of Jesus, Lord. Glory to God. I'm yes, going to Lord. pray, Pastor, um, Pastor Nicole Johnson and Bishop Johnson, and then I'm going to just give it to um, um, Bishop Overseer Nelson. But before that, I would just allow Pastor Maxine just to say something and to greet us. Amen. So I'm just going to pray over... Lord God, Ekabasuta, Jesus, Pastor Max, uh, uh, Maxine Welch, could you just pray over uh, Pastor Johnson and Bishop Johnson? It's their anniversary. Just pray a blessing over their union, and then you just say whatever in your spirit. My God, there's anointing in my life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your anointing, God. Thank Jesus. you for the power. My God, you move upon this platform, God. We thank you for your supernatural presence, God. We thank you, my God, for the evidence of your presence. Oh, God. God, we thank you this evening. We thank you. Glory to Almighty God. We thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, God, we thank you for what has been decreed and declared this evening. Ah, oh, la Messiah. Hey, hallelujah. Mighty God, we pronounce a blessing upon the Johnsons this evening. Mighty God, we ask you to continue to rest your yes, hands God. upon their lives. Oh, God. Oh, God Almighty. We thank you, God, to reign in their season. Oh, God, we ask you, God Almighty, to establish them continually mighty oh, yeah. god may you cause your holy power oh god of heaven give them not a, another another refilling god give them lord god yes. another outpouring god yes. light them up for the journey god oh, lord yeah. that's the resurrected power be burnt in them god yes. mighty yes. god let them know that their season is not finished yes. mighty oh, god yeah. but they're moving them to another dimension to another place, God, to another level, God. Oh, God Almighty, no matter how they might feel in age or whatever, mighty God, let them know this evening that you're ready for them, God, to take them to another place in your God. Oh, My yeah. God, may you grant them supernatural anointing. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty, may you grant them health, God. May their stores not be empty. Mighty God, fill them up, fill up their stores, enlarge their borders, God. Yeah. Wipe their territories, God. Increase their faith, God, and Hallelujah. their confidence, God. Mighty God, I'm even I pray you touch their bodies right now. Oh, God Almighty, whatever feeling of sickness that they might be experienced even now God I pray that your Holy Spirit mighty God will move upon them God and bring healing into their bodies Lord wholeness into their bodies God 